Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Stable Diffusion 3. We'll talk a little bit about what is Stable Diffusion 3. We'll talk about the API. I will show you how to set it up inside of Comfy UI and start generating images. All right, so a little bit about Stable Diffusion 3. It is the latest model released by Stability AI. It's the company behind Stable Diffusion and they released Stable Diffusion 1.4, 1.5, 2.0, 2.1, SDXL, Stable Cascade, Stable Video Diffusion, and now we have Stable Diffusion 3. Now, if we go into this blog post here, it tells us that the main characteristic of Stable Diffusion 3 is that it can understand text prompt better than previous generation. It can also do multi subject prompts. This is something that previous generation struggles. The image quality is higher. It can also do text. So we have a couple of example here. We can see that it says go big or go home. This is pretty much generated inside Stable Diffusion 3. And we have a Stable Diffusion 3 here written as paper. There's also text here. Now, if we go at the top, this picture was generated using Stable Diffusion 3. So you can see how good it is at generating text. Now, at the top here, you will see that we have Stable Diffusion 3 is now available on our developer platform API. And then there's a learn more. If you click on it, it will open basically a documentation page, the developer platform by Stability AI. And you have to be careful. At the top, it's mainly for a stable image core. That is the primary model that they are offering with the API. To use Stable Diffusion 3, you'll need to click on where it says Generate, Stable Diffusion 3, or you can scroll down until you see Stable Diffusion 3. Now, where it says Try it out, there is also a Grab Your API Key. Click on where it says API key. It will open a Stability AI page. If you are not already logged in, it will ask you to create an account and log in. Once you've logged in, it will bring you here to this API keys section. And then at the top here, you will get create API key. Click on it and you will get something like this. This is going to be your API key. And then you can view it. You can copy it from here. If you go into billing, you will be able to see how many credits you have remaining. And right now, you will get 25 credits for free. The moment you use those 25 credits, you can go into billing and then you can buy. For $10, you will get 1000 credits. So if you go back to the Stability AI developer platform page, we click on pricing. It will bring you down to the pricing section. And for stable image services, you will see that SD3 will cost you 6.5 credits per successful image. Okay, so make sure you have your API key created. And then I will have another link in the description below. It's going to be for the Comfy UI Stable Diffusion 3 API. Just click on the link. It will open the GitHub repository. In here, there will be a green button. Click on that green button. And then there will be like a link, HTTPS link. Click on the copy URL to clipboard. Next. Go to your Comfy UI installation folder, click on Comfy UI, and then look for the custom node folder, go into it, click at the top here and type in CMD. This will open a terminal or CMD, PowerShell, command prompt, anything that you have available, and it will bring you inside the Comfy UI custom node folder. Here, type in git clone and then paste the link. It should be the GitHub link for the Comfy UI Stable Diffusion 3 API. Press enter, it's going to copy the repository from GitHub to your local machine. Now start Comfy UI in any way you're comfortable. I'm going to use the terminal and I will do the run NVIDIA underscore GPU. Now once Comfy UI starts, make sure that under the import times for custom node, you see the Stable Diffusion 3 API. And on the left side, there is no import fail notification there. Now using it is actually quite simple. You just need to right click on an empty canvas, go into SD3, Stable Diffusion 3. And that's pretty much it that you have. Where it says image, just drag out and you can have a save image node or a preview node. We just have this aspect ratio. If you choose the one 
by one ratio it's going to give you a 1024 by 1024 image and if you choose any of the other resolution it will stretch it and give you the different aspect ratio now the mode you have two options two ways of interacting with the api text to image image to image by changing it here and in the input image drag out and select a load image now the model sd3 that is the model that we are using but if you want to use the turbo version this one is going to cost you about four credits per image generation you got the seed the strength and that's basically it okay so i'm going to copy this prompt here and i will try it inside of stable diffusion 3 i'm going to do a text to image and this isn't going to work because remember we have not entered our api key yet so if you click on the q prompt you will get something that says 401 error basically when it's connecting there was an error and we just need to supply our api key so go back into your file explorer most likely you are under the custom node folder if not go into the custom nodes folder look for the comfy ui stable diffusion 3 api folder go into it there will be a config dot json file open this using notepad or any text editor i'm going to use notepad and at the top you will see stability key and then it will tell you your key there all right so go back to stability.ai where you have your api key copy it and then paste it inside the config.json file and then save it basically it's going to look something like this there will be some characters numbers and you need to make sure that you are pasting your api key inside the double quotation mark make sure there are no spaces inside okay so once you have your api key make sure to save the file and go back into comfy ui click on the q prompt and here we go we got an image now remember before this i had 19.9 .9 credits so we'll check the credit as well and my prompt was basically like the anime art style mountain stuff and then we had a text a stable diffusion 3 you can see that it got a stable diffusion and then we have another diffusion number three there otherwise it's quite interesting let's check the credit so i had 19.9 .9 minus 13.4 which is what i have remaining and that is exactly 6.5 credits for one image generation and you can see like for example let's make as if this is not good enough for me to use in any of my project this basically like the text here the duplication of the text is not good enough despite that i am losing my 6.5 credit of course if i try again it's possible that i'm going to get a good result and you can see that this particular image was made with this exact same prompt now i'd like to try an image to image as well so let me change the mode to image to image take the image out use the load image let me try this the strength is probably the denoising factor but right now i'm going to leave everything as it is and let's just give it a try so it can do image to image it can do text to image there's also the turbo version okay so even the image to image took 6.5 credits and i probably have one more generation that i can do before i need to purchase credits so you're going to burn the credit the 10 dollar credit quite fast if you use the normal aspect ratio you're going to get about so 1000 divided by 6.5 around i would say 150 153 generation i think now one thing i forgot to mention is that the stable diffusion 3 is basically like a collection of models right now we have access to two models we have the sd3 base model and then the sd turbo model however in the blog post it also mentioned that stable diffusion 3 is a suite of models ranging from 800 million parameters to 8 billion parameters so probably we are going to see more models so that's pretty much it for stable diffusion 3 with that i would like to say a big thank you to my patreon supporters thank you for watching until the very end i hope you have a great day happy experimenting and i will see you in the next one